Oh shit. Emma is not gang gang. Norman was getting ready to get her jumped in, get her initiated. She got scared. She said she's scared she's scared of getting hit with one of them Ricos. Shit. Norman getting ready to start set tripping on these damn demons and uh Emma ain't with it. So anyway, she acting like a little bitch. Alright, let's get to it. I too want to build that future with our family and our family, our friends, and all of the cattle children can live in peace. Cattle children is a term of endearment. <laughs> but only the cattle children can say that amongst each other, all right? Where they can smile again. That's why I planned this. I thought hard about what's the best possible way. Basically, he's saying, bitch, I done already went through this over and over and over. There's only one way. We got to kill all of them. <laughs> Emma, the world isn't so kind that you can pick everything at once. <laughs> he putting his foot down on this one. He said, last time I let you get away with the bullshit. He said, this time. <laughs> Reality comes crashing down. I will tell you that, look, he got, look, his face, he's in, he went hard. He went like this. He said, bitch. <laughs> I said, bitch. He said, I will tell you this. If we don't exterminate the demons, our family would never be safe enough to smile. He said, that's just what it is. He putting his foot down on this. He's, he said, either I put my foot down or put my foot in your ass. You pick one. <laughs> oh, man. He was thinking about this plan before he even escaped the, um, the plantation. Okay, fate has split our paths. So back when he was at the plant... Oh, we got to remember also... At the plantation, what you call him, uh, Norman, might have been changed like Cicero in them. Why? Because what's the other girl's name? Damn, what's the girl's name? Cicero and... Barbara. He might have changed because he was seeing demons fuck people up. Whereas Emma and Ray... They seen a couple people fuck demons up. I mean, demons fuck a couple people up. Now, it wasn't it wasn't like an everyday basis. You just seen them like clockwork. So, they ain't really get hit like that. And one of the biggest enemies was humans. So, they don't see it the way Norman. Norman probably hard. He's like, yo, I seen demons snatching niggas up. I don't fuck with demons. Fuck demons. <laughs> fuck 12. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shit. Fucking Norman, a cattle child with attitude. <laughs> CCWA. All right. Now, Ray looking away like, Norman's kind of right. True. Norman is right. This exterminating the demons is the safest, most reliable way of saving all the ch cattle children. But... Even then, all of that all of that is correct, Norman, but that only cares for probabilities. What the fuck did she just say? But that only cares for probabilities. What the fuck is she talking about? Sure, from a mathematical she's saying that's the most probable way? Yeah. But if you're looking for the that's what you got to go with, bitch. She's saying it's possible that they could, that the demons could live alongside humans in peace. Possible, yes. But are you willing to take that risk? That's what Norman's saying. Sure, from a mathematical point of view, that's the correct choice. But what does it mean to be correct? To be sure to reach your goals? Yes. To have the most benefit... Yes. I don't know about these things, but it has to be more than that. No. She said, I ain't, I'm not going to. Basically, she's saying, I don't want to win if it means giving up this. If it means killing off some, you know, innocent demon kids. If you, if you lose, they kill, they're killing you off currently. I, I just can't accept a choice as correct. That would lead to the extermination of the other. The, even the genocide of innocent children. She talking about the innocent demon children. 
And they are innocent. That She's not lying. Even the adults are innocent. The adults, they just eating. Now, the people running the damn um, plantations and whatnot, they're evil. Okay. Now, Norman's like, damn. He's like, man, this bitch really done lost it. Shit. Killing is a heavy thing. Extermination all the more. You see, Norman getting ready to ride on the ass. He's getting ready to commit a genocide. He said, I'm going to pull a drive-by. I'm about to get the drop on these motherfuckers. They on the corner right now. And there's a way to avoid it, right? The path is there. You said we don't even know if the human world would accept us. That is true enough. But maybe they will. She keeps saying maybe. I can't, man. I can't bank on no maybe. But if you exterminate all the demons, it probably ain't going to be a maybe whether they accept you. They're going to be like, cool. The demons are dead? Cool, come on in. Fuck it. They might go over there. They might not even go to the human world. If they exterminate all the demons, they might not even have to go to the human world. You know what I mean? I still would. I might travel back and forth between the human world. Or, shit, it wouldn't be a demon world anyway. It'd just be a human world, period. Maybe they will. We don't know that either. Even if the chances are low... If there's a, a way for both sides to divide, survive, then let's bet everything on that path. Bet everything on that path. Please. She said, if there's a 1% chance that both can survive, let's bet everything. You sound like a fucking idiot. She said, let's all die. Let's all ba basically almost guarantee dying to make sure that the other side lives. Man, fuck them niggas. That's how we've managed to come so far, isn't it? No. She's conflating those. Back when, before, when they didn't take... First off, they left some of the kids anyway. So they did compromise. They, they left Phil, in the, Phil of the future and the, mother, the other kids. So they did make some compromises back then. Second of all, the compromise that they made was the best one they could make at the time. Third, they weren't risking the kids in that sense. The kids shouldn't be sacrificed at that time. They made this. They made that choice with the uh, thought that the kids weren't going to be killed until late to a further date, a couple years. This time, she's making a choice where the the chances. I mean, the uh, the, the risk is they all die. Before the risk was. Maybe the kids might die, but more than likely they wouldn't. If we all had believed in, if all we had believed in were statistics, we'd have never even tried to break out of the house. The most logical choice would have been to do as Mama said and wait for the death, and wait for death the best we could. She got a point with that one, but not really. The most logical one. Might have been what Mama did. Or escape. Both of those are just as logical because if you're going to die anyway, you might take the chance of at least have a chance of survival and surviving to an older age. You know what I mean? So you could either go uh, Mama's way and survive older by just giving in. But Another logical way, if you're talking about logical in terms of the individual, yes. But if you're talking about a whole group, all of them can't make it. All of them can't be mamas. So especially Norman knows he can't be a mama. So if that's the case, because they all females. So if that's the case, he was going to die anyway. So he's looking at it like, no, the most logical way for me to go was the escape. Emma could have became a mama. The most logical way for her to go is to just been like mama. That's true, but still, the um, escaping was very was a cl I mean, for Emma was a close second. I mean, you still had to take a risk. Okay, we have never brought along the children either. You didn't take them all. Remember that bitch. I don't want to destroy the demons. At the very least, I don't want to live in a future where my survival depends on killing a friend and killing Musica. She don't even know that Sung Ju is trying to kill them. 
I will never be able to smile again. So you insist we should all, you insist we should do all it takes to avoid the extermination. Okay. Yes. And look at her face when she said, she said, yeah, let's stop all this hating. That's, that's, that's what Emma said. We got to stop all this hating. What about my plan? It's already started, you know. The alliance with the Gil the Gillen is done. I can't go back on it. I know. I know. Okay, so Emma, what's your fucking plan? I mean, you obviously you got a, like a top-notch plan to save everybody. There's no problem. Let them topple the royals and the region families. The liberation of the farms is a good thing, too. But at that point, don't go on with executing the nobles. Instead, I like to use their blood to make many more demons able to live without humans. Don't the nobles still eat humans even though they don't need to? Think about it. She said, we got to use the nobles in order to make all of them not want to kill humans. Okay, at the same time, we'll cross the seven walls and seal the new seal a new promise with um S scribble that's his name scribble and we'll make a path to or her name but as far as i know they kept saying they made it seem like it was a him i don't know and we'll make a path to escape to the human world finally give stable uh bodies to all the demons put it into all the plantations and bring all the cattle children to the human side why bring it to the human side you already know why because she's thinking that even though they might not need to eat humans, they still probably will. So we're going to bring it to the human side, you know, just to, just, um, just, just to, as a, a, a safety net. That's a pipe dream. Norman said, what you been snorting that coke? He said, bitch, you must be getting high. He said, that's a pipe dream. I don't see hope in any of it, but let's, co let's, let's, um, concede for the sake of argument. That we can cross to the human world and so on. Even then, the part about the seven walls is completely unclear. They say that in this place, there, there lies the supreme existence among the demons, Scribble. But the seven walls, they aren't found anywhere in the demon world. Even the documentation accumulated by the Ratry clan doesn't have a clue about them. It's just a big unknown. Even James Ratry himself could never find the way to reach it. On what basis do you think you, we already did? She said, we already did. She jumped right in, we already did. She said, nigga. She said, fuck you think you talking about. She said, nigga, I'm, I'm with it. She said, I stay with it. I keep it on me. What you talking about? She started talking all extra tough. Norman like, what? We found out how to reach the seven walls a year and a half ago. She said, nigga, we been on it. She said, I hopped off the porch a year and a half ago. She got into the streets long ago. And we already gathered all we need. When the conditions are right, we can go at any time. You you found it. Yup, yup. But to be fair, there's still a lot of things we don't know. We can't tell if the method will work or what we will find there. And reaching it is only half the problem. We don't know if we can seal a new promise. It's still just, as you said, a big unknown. If you must know more before stopping the plan, then let me go and find out. She said, let me, let me go ahead and save. You going to fuck the plan up. That's what's going to happen. What? I will go and learn all about it and I can fix the promise. If I manage to come back, then can you rethink the idea of extermination, please? She said, I want to redo the promise. If we do that, can we not exterminate them? Bitch, what you think happened the first time? They lied. The fucking demons lied. I mean, lied. I had a hiccup. So what you think they're going to do the second time? Oh, you right, you right, you right. Since you did it the second time, we're going we gonna to be thorough this time. We're going to stay solid. Come on now. They did it. 
Come on the fuck on now. They did it before. What makes you think they going to not do it this time? Wait a minute. Where does all this come from? What's this all? What's this about if you manage to come back? Basically, she's saying, I'm going to go and I might get killed. I'm going to risk my life. Regarding the risk right now, we're aware of two things. We know how to get in, but nothing about how to get out. And it appears that most of those who went there have never returned. Oh, my God. She said, I'm about to go get myself killed. She said, I'm getting ready to go get myself killed. So, once I get myself killed, can you call off the extermination? <laughs> I know Norman thinks that this bitch is on crack. She probably is. <laughs> All right. Um, what in the world? That's way too dangerous. But if I don't go, there will be a massacre, right? If she does go, it's going to be mad. He's like, bitch, I'm going to kill him anyway. I'm against that. But come on. Okay, it's okay. Don't worry. I already want to go anyway. That's not even remotely okay. 1,000 years ago, the first ratry, the first ratry. What did they mean, the first ratry? The first guy named ratry? Meaning... Somebody changed their name to Ratry, and that's the first one? Wait, the first Ratry was from a thousand years ago, right when the promise was made? That's a strange coincidence. One thousand years, the first Ratry managed to come back, right? So we don't, so we know there must be a way, and I'll find it. Remember, them Ratry's probably a geniuses. Like, super geniuses. And also... I'm the one who wants to stop the extermination. So let me show the at least a bit of this, okay? I will check it out and come and be back and be right back. She said, I'm going to spend that check and get it right back. A bit, you say. The chances are, I mean, that's not much, right? It is a lot. This girl's fucking ridiculous. But some, so some dude came back from the seven walls and, and started calling himself Ratry. And he had a damn owl. Who the fuck is this first rat re guy? It looks like a guy. Okay, not when compared not when compared to your burden. Doing everything alone, leading all of it like a god, you know, Norman. It's okay, you don't have to become a god. He already is a god. He a goat. He a goat god. How are you feeling, Norman? Isn't it hard? Deep inside, do you want to kill all demons? Do you also feel relief when you do? Oh, my God. She doing this whole fucking appeal to emotion. Trying to get them all... Oh, my God. Trying to get them all sad and soppy and all this other shit so that she could so she could trick them and manipulate them. She gave her have sex with them, then trick them, and, you know... And then as soon as that happened, he'd be like, you know what? I'm going to do whatever you tell me. Okay. You can talk uh you can talk about it, Norman. I don't want you to take it all upon your shoulders and go and go away again. Shit. Norman went out like a soldier last time. He said he was getting ready he was ready to die. Norman went Norman is a G. He pulled the hands down. Is he going No way? I'm not going anywhere. Don't worry. I thought he was going to say, no way. Fuck your plan. I'm going to I'm do what I'm getting ready to do anyway. Now, I know how you feel, Emma, but I haven't changed my mind. You fucking right. Norman became a G. I have no intention of stopping the plan, nor delaying it, nor waiting for you. She said, now, you better. So if you want to do that, you better hurry up and do it before I, before, you know, before it happened. If you really want to stop the extermination. And for this reason, you resolve to go there, then be back before I put the royals and regents to death. I will not promise to stop anything. When you come back, we can talk again and reconsider our status. Got it. That's good enough. Thanks. Ray, I know. Of course, I'll go. You can count on me. He said, Ray, follow her. See, at this point, he been without them before. 
So he probably he probably good, you know, seeing them go. He probably worried about him, but I'm saying like he's been without him before. You two take and he doesn't he thinks it's more likely that they'll be able to return if it's if it's two of them instead of just one. You two take care and come back safely. He ain't giving them one of his soldiers. He giving one of his soldiers that might mess up his plan. Norman at this point in time, last time he gave he's like, you know what, Emma, I really like you. You you know, I like I like how big your eyes are, some shit some bullshit. I don't know. <laughs> some I like redheads, you know. Now this time he's like, no, fuck that. This time he said, I'm I'm sticking to my guns. He said that's on the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sticking to my guns on this on this one. Ray, what? They went past Zazi. I've made up my mind. I'm not lost anymore. What the fuck does she mean? I'm not lost anymore. She's trying to stop the damn extermination. I refuse to accept a, den- a genocide. I will find another way, whatever it takes. Now she's fighting for the demons. Is she right or wrong? Morally, she's not wrong. Ethically, ethically, she's not wrong. In every other way, she's fucking dead wrong. Norman won't have to carry carry all the way alone ever again. You're always so alone, but that's enough of that. Yeah, yeah. Ray seems like he between them. Like he's he, It seems like Ray would go with Norman's plan, but he's following uh, Emma too. I don't know. I that's what it seemed like. Emma did uh, change the way uh, Norman uh, saw things. But yeah, Emma is fucking ridiculous. I mean, like, even if they even if they um, redo the promise, is all the demons going to stop eating humans? Or just some? Or let's say some of the demons keep eating humans. How do you, What do you do about that? You know what I mean? What do you do? And if they, if they all become... Like mutants or whatever it is, they'll be even stronger because they won't have to like with the war with the humans. Remember, they had to go to war with the humans. There's something on my camera. They had to go to war with the humans. The humans were fighting to, to live. You get what I'm saying? So they was fighting to keep the demons from eating them. So if they fought the demons off and kept them from eating them, some of the demons would starve and go back. Wow, you know what I mean? But with this, they can keep on going indefinitely against the humans without slowing down. You know what I mean? That's it. It's I, I, Emma just seems like really, really, really just an emotional creature. But anyway, go ahead and leave your comments, like the video, and subscribe because I can't eat. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. And you got the power to change that. Check the links in the description box. This is an okay chapter. It wasn't it, it it wasn't bad. It wasn't overly good. It was just more Emma. <laughs> Peace.